Hi, I'm Katie. I am a professional makeup artist and I am here to teach you how to get really good at doing your own makeup. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you how to keep your under eye concealer from creasing. So if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. So our first step is going to be our skin prep. That is the most important step when you're doing your makeup on your whole face, not just your under eye. So I've done my, the whole rest of my face, as you can see, and I'm going to, to use my moisturizer or my eye cream, whichever it is that you use, depending on your skin type. And I'm going to clean up the under eye area with my moisturizer. So I'm taking just a teeny little bit on my fingers and I'm just going to pat that lightly underneath. You can see I'm coming up out here on the outside as well. And then I'm going to take a cotton swab and I'm going to make sure that I've cleaned up any fallout that may have happened um, from doing the rest of my makeup. I know a lot of people bake under their eye with powder to uh, help clean up any fallout, but if you want to keep your under eye area from creasing too badly, that's not the best idea because all of that powder is really going to look cakey and um, start creasing in the under eye area and collect into all of those fine lines. So the most important step is keeping the under air eye area hydrated. So while I do prep that area before I even do my makeup, I also clean up with my eye cream or moisturizer so that it stays nice and hydrated. And you can see I'm just kind of patting the rest of that in onto the skin. And then you want to let it sit for a minute so that it can set into the skin. So I'm going to tell you about some product textures while that's setting into my skin. So different under eye concealer um, options that you have. There's a few different types. First you have your creams which usually come in a stick or a pot. Those are going to be the most full coverage consistency um, and depending on your skin type they may settle more into fine lines than a light lighter, sheerer texture. Um, so some different options that you have for under eye creams. You have um, the Eve Pearl uh, Salmon Concealer. This one is intended for the under eye, so it's nice and hydrating, not too dry. Um, you have the Jane Iredale Circle Delete Concealer. Um, you can see it has two shades in there, one for correcting, one for brightening. Those are very good, especially if you have really dark circles discoloration dark circles under your eyes that you need to correct. Um, the, then the next one from that is going to be um, a tube uh, concealer. So it's kind of in between texture of a cream and a liquid. Um, and so an example of that would be the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. That is an example of a tube concealer. Um, again, they tend to settle more and they're more full coverage. Um, and then you have your liquids, which will come um, usually with a different applicator like a wand or a dropper um, for the liquid uh, consistency. Um, and so some examples of that would be the NARS Radiant Creamy concealer or the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This is a really good one too um, for the liquids. And then the last product um, that is available out there is a powder formula of a concealer. Um, and the best ones are usually the mineral powders because they mesh well with the skin. So an example of that would be the Bare Minerals Concealer. This is their well-rested uh, brightening under eye concealer. So for your under eye concealer, you want to make sure that you are applying the smallest amount possible when you apply it under your eye in order to keep it from settling into the fine lines and in order to prevent it from creasing. You also don't want to apply it on the areas where you get creasing the most, which may sound counterintuitive, but I'll demonstrate for you what I mean. 
So today I'm going to be using my um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now this one is a good match for my skin tone because as you can see, I don't have a lot of darkness. I just have some slight discoloration, mostly on the outside of my eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply just the smallest amount on my under eye area and I'm going to um, then blend it in from there and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to take my wand and I'm just going to dot right here, just two dots in the areas that I need it. So it, where I've got a little bit of darkness there and then here on the outside. That's all that you're going to need. You don't need to put a whole bunch there. You don't need to paint the area that's just gonna give you problems. So if you look at my eyes, when I smile, you can see all those little fine lines that pop up. Those are the areas we wanna try and avoid a little bit more than others because that's where creasing is going to happen. So let me show you how you would still correct over those areas without applying product. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to start blending that color in. And I'm just tapping it on that area. And I like a finger for this because you have warmth in your hand and it's going to help you mesh the product into your skin. Then I'm gonna come out here and blend in that area. Notice I haven't gone in between them yet. I'm just blending the areas where I put the color. Making sure I get all the edges and where it meets my foundation. Now I'm gonna take whatever's left on my finger and then I'm going to come across to the rest of that area. Now, if you have long nails, you may have trouble doing this with your finger. So I would suggest a nice small brush to do this or a sponge. So a good small brush would be something this size. So you can see how small it is compared to my eye. And you really want to use that to just pat and stipple the product in until it's blended to the point that you want. And you can really get up there under the lash line and really just pat it in. You can always use a damp sponge as well to blend the two together. So you can see the difference between the eye that I didn't do and then the eye that I have done and that it just gives me a little bit more evenness of color and coverage and that's what I want. So as you can see, the difference between the two eyes, the one that I've done and the one that I haven't done, it just brightens up that area a little more, changes the discoloration. Um, so some people are going to want to go with a lighter color than their skin tone in order to brighten that area even more. Um, the whole idea of concealer is to lighten the areas that you want to distract the eye from seeing. So when someone is looking at you, they're not noticing the darkness and the deepness because that's what our eye is drawn to. You want the light to distract and to bounce away so that it doesn't draw any attention. That is the idea of the under eye concealer and making it a little bit lighter. So in order to keep it from creasing, we are going to want to set it with powder. Unless you are extremely, extremely dry and dehydrated in your under eye area, you're going to want to use just the smallest amount of powder to set that product there and keep it from creasing. So I really like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder 
powder for setting the under eye. You use it in very, very small amounts and it has a nice blurring effect to the under eye as well and it will set that area. On days when I feel like I need a little bit more brightening, that's when I'll bring in the Bare Minerals Well Rested color because it's a little bit more brightening and it will just enhance even more that work that I've done underneath my eye. So I'm going to take this nice um, small fluffy brush so it fits nicely under the eye and it has a good bounce to it, a good taper and texture. And I'm going to get a little bit of my Make It Forever powder on there. I'm gonna tap it off. So you can see there was some cloud. I don't know if you can see it or not, maybe <laughs> you can't, <laughs> but it came off. And then I'm going to pat very gently the powder on the areas where I put the concealer. Clean it off on my arm and then just wipe away any excess very, very gently. Be gentle to your skin, treat it nicely. And then the last step that I like to do is I like to bring a little bit more staying power and hydration to that under eye area. So what I will do is I will take a setting spray or a hydration spray and I will spray it on a velour puff or sponge and set the under eye with it. So I have the Jane Iredale Palmist Hydration Spray. It's a really nice one. It's a setting spray um, and it's a hydration spray as well. So it's going to bring moisture back to that area. So I'm going to take my puff here. I'm just going to spray it a couple of times just so it's just barely there. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to lightly press on that under eye area. Then that's going to set everything in place, all of the products that I put there, and it's also going to bring the moisture back in because the best thing to distract from that the fine lines is to puff the skin back up again and make it look nice and hydrated. So I, that's it. I hope that that was helpful for you. I hope that uh, that made sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I do offer one-on-one -on -one online makeup lessons, which you can uh, sign up for through my website. I'll link it down below. And I hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.